I do feel we should start a regular section for just mad things that mad people have said this week. Well, today's today's mad thing that mad people have said uh, is a, a campaigner with the Zero Tolerance Group, an Edinburgh-based group uh, that campaigns to end male violence against women. Uh, they have claimed that the children's book The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr could lead to rape and harassment. Apparently, this book is terribly dangerous because it uh, has sexist and stere uh, gender stereotypes and it's more likely to become... Uh, you know that boys who conform to gender stereotypes are more likely to become perpetrators of violence against women. Therefore, a book in which a woman is uh, apparently at home while that father is at work and she's cooking tea, um, apparently entertaining children and tigers, is more likely to lead to more women getting raped. I mean... Just madness, just insanity. But these people apparently are taken seriously. Well, let's talk about this with Joanna Williams, who's director of the think tank of uh, Keo. Good morning to you, Joanna. Hello, great Hello. to be with you. Uh, lovely to talk to you. I mean, I, I got to know you were writing uh, rather sensible uh, uh, books about feminism and what feminism used to be, the kind of feminism you and I subscribe to. Um, this book, look, this 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 campaign. I'm all in favour of of charities that are, are working to protect women from sexual assault and domestic abuse. Uh, very very fine work. But when they claim that a children's book like The Tiger Who Came to Tea could in any way uh, lead to more violence against women, they're doing a disservice to their cause, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. And it's one of those stories, Julia, as you say, where you just don't know whether to laugh or cry. I mean, it, it's so ridiculous. Um, I certainly grew up as a little girl on being read The Tiger Who Came to Tea. I'm sure you did too. Um, my brother did. Likewise, my sons have now. Um, I certainly never let reading or being read stories about women who stayed at home and cooked dinner hold me back and stop me having a fulfilling yeah. adult life and a career and, and reaching every ambition um, I've ever wanted to. No more did it turn my brother into a wife beater and a rapist. And it's frankly offensive, not just to Judith Kerr, um, but to the um, leg the childhoods yeah. of, of millions of children all around the world who've grown up to be very sensible adults and have fond memories of being read these books as, as children. It's about a tiger who comes to tea. I mean, <laughs> really, I mean, I'm sure there are other deeper messages. I don't know. I, I, I Frankly, I always thought the mum was telling porkies about, I think, I think frankly, she'd eaten all the food and drink, but that's the <laughs> but, Well, these wonderful stories, it's the, it's the willingness of people to read into anything and everything, to take offence at everything that's ever happened in the past. Any book that's not written, um, uh, you know, in, in the last you know five minutes is clearly full of you know imperialism misogyny racism bigotry you i mean oh i mean a transphobia you name it everything i mean i do wonder how these people go through life if they think that every single thing is triggering people you know we know what turns out violent uh, sexual predators in men it's it's, be, it's being brought up by them children who have violent homes violent um, uh, homes where they are uh, they, things are unpredictable and they're the subject of violence they see violence themselves are far more likely to turn out in this way not having a, a book read to them where mum is at home or making the tea look you know I, my daughter's being raised uh, by I mean it's nearly always me that sorts out dinner and is doing more of the stuff at home because of, because of the hours that I do it makes it more obvious that I should do that um, um, I've also I just don't want to sort of staff. Um, but you know, my daughter's trying to decide between being a marine biologist and an astrophysicist. She's doing all right. No, I, I, one of the sentences that really leaps out for me in the zero tolerance um, report that came out yesterday, uh, the director, or one of the co-directors, Rachel Adamson, um, says we need to recognise, this is her quote, we need to recognise these aren't just stories. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry, Rachel. Actually, they are just stories because, do you know what? In real life, tigers don't come knocking at the door wanting to have tea with well, you. She, you know, and, and she, she children she... recognise Yes, children are yes, children are rather cleverer than these people. My other yeah. favourite bit is she said she highlighted the old fashioned stereotypical ending in which the father comes home from work and saves the day by taking his wife and daughter to a cafe for tea. She also questioned why the tiger was male rather than female <laughs> or wait for it altogether now. Gender neutral. I mean, where do we even start? I mean you do you have to kind of worry about these people a little bit. I worry about their kids. Exactly. How the hell are those kids going to turn out? 
because if you go around scrutinizing every aspect of life in this much detail, holding everything up to these completely unattainable standards of what epitomizes woke thinking at any one point in time, you know, your life just becomes miserable. Yeah. You can't have stories or films or cartoons. There's no fiction. And, and actually, I'm kind of making a bit of a joke about this, but it's really sad because the point I was making about me being read The Tiger Who Came to Tea as a Child and then me reading it to my daughter in yeah. time, it's kind of a bond between the generations. Yeah. It means when my daughter sees her grandmother, they have something in common. They have these points of reference that we can all share within society. Totally. And I think these kind of campaigns, you know, we can laugh at them, we can cry about them, but they're actually quite dangerous because this year zero mentality, this just get rid of everything, it takes away those bonds yep. that... Can, I society. agree with you. I, these people aren't just mad, they're bad. I really, I really, really seriously think we've got to start fighting back against this madness. Buy this book and read it to your children, for goodness sake. Uh, Joanna Williams, always talking sense, uh, director of the Think Tank here. Really appreciate that.